Well, one of my European partners described an early right to be forgotten request in France where a National Front politician uh, wanted deletion of their, this is a good example of the balance, of the fact that they were you know, a member of this racist party when they then rebranded themselves as an ordinary Gaullist politician. This is, uh, but in France there was still a public interest to know this, so our advice to the news organization that got this request was to say, stuff it. And um, there are ways to, to deal with this where there is a genuine, informative, um, uh, you know, sort of public interest in the information being available to say, no, the right doesn't extend there, but otherwise a right to delete um, data about you, particularly if it's sensitive data. We could come up with a set of circumstances where uh, right to be forgotten would not conflict with First Amendment interests so much. Um, certainly data deletion is, is appropriate and is a right that exists under some privacy laws already. So I think this is l actually less of a difference. I brought up the National Front politician to give you an example of, of even the country that thought of this idea this is not, there are ways to deal with this in a reasonable way, but for example, CCPA completely exempts news organizations, only in nonprofit organizations, so I think it's a little bit funky uh, from a First Amendment perspective, but it exempts them so that the right to delete does not apply to any media organization, for example. So there are ways to do this, and I don't think, I think there is a fraud interest, for example, and an accountability interest if people can go on the internet and collect information or sell goods, they ought not to be able to do that anonymously. If we think about the problems of misinformation, you know, uh, the, the, the Russian intelligence offering websites, we ought to be able to trace if they're setting up some website and spreading misinformation, there ought to be some clue to be able to figure out who they are. Um, so I think that the, the sort of absolutist European perspective about uh, being able to delete your information is probably ultimately not consistent with deeper European law principles and certainly not with U.S. principles. But this is, as most of these issues, a question of nuance, not an, uh, an on-off switch.